take a look at this map. There's a new study showing that nearly half of counties in America don't have a practicing cardiologist in them. The map shows the counties that do have at least one cardiologist. Those are highlighted in darker orange, but those other counties have none. And here, well, there are many counties on the Eastern Plains and Southern Colorado that don't have a cardiologist. So for more on that, we're pointing to our own cardiologist, talking about cardiologist deserts and our Nine News health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, talk about this. Tell us about the study. It doesn't sound like you're too surprised when you hear about it. You know, I'm not surprised. I look at over 3,000 counties nationwide and nearly half don't have a cardiologist. Here in Colorado, we have 33 cardiology deserts with zero cardiologists. And really what's most sad about this is it found out that the counties that need the help the most, the people that are the sickest, that have the highest risk factors, that have the most complex medical issues, the lowest level of income are the ones that are unable to access this care. Wow. Is, is that a lifestyle choice? You're a cardiologist, you come out, you, you could live anywhere. If you want to live in Malibu, that's great. But if you want to, they want you to live in Alaska and you don't want to live in Alaska, that makes it tough. It's true. The, part of it is where the cardiologists go. I mean, obviously there's a, a shortage of cardiologists because heart disease is the number one killer, so we need more of us. But where we go are the areas that are oversaturated. So Denver, for example, has lots and lots of cardiologists. We're nowhere near being a cardiologist desert, but yet there are states like the Dakotas and others that have one cardiologist or one cardiology group covering multiple counties or multiple states. And yet you bring it up about how common this is. What does this mean for anyone that's living with a heart disease? I mean, that's, that's tough. It's not even the people just living with heart disease. It's preventing heart disease. The and diagnosed ones? Yes. Are, okay. And that's what really kills me because 80% of heart attacks and strokes are preventable with the proper risk factor management. But if you're living in one of these cardiology deserts, what that means is that instead of traveling 16 miles to see a cardiologist, you travel 87 miles to see a cardiologist. So if you actually adjust your cardiology risk index, which is your chance of having disease that leads to heart disease, or your chance of dying, it's 31% higher. So by the very virtue of the fact that you're living in a cardiology desert, you're more likely to have heart disease and die. And it's because you can't access care and you can't access preventive care. Well, you're not only a cardiologist yourself, you travel and talk to cardiologists here in the metro area. So how many of your patients or, or patients of, of colleagues of yours see people from the metro area and how many times do you see someone who has to travel 100 miles? To, to you know, see? it's tough, Tom, because I have probably a few patients and I could probably count them on my both my hands who come from Pueblo and other parts of the state to come and see me. But these are my younger patients that are more mobile, that are able to drive for two hours. I do do some telehealth visits in some remote, remote parts of the states and that's really what we're trying to sort of hope is that more of that type of care starts to become more commonplace. But sometimes when it comes to heart disease issues, you, you gotta listen you've got to examine them, you got to get an EKG. So doing everything on the computer doesn't offer that same level of care. Wow, so that's, that's one option, but what else really can be done? I mean, for, for many people in the metro area, you say, oh, I had to drive to Aurora for that <laughs> test, and that's nothing, you know? I mean, what else can you do? Well, if you're in one of those 33 cardiology deserts, you know that where you live shouldn't determine how long you live. And that's really what the study shows us, is that if you live in one of those rural areas, you're not getting care. So you have to take ownership of your health and really try to establish and find a cardiologist. And yes, you might have to drive a little bit farther, but I think the system needs to change as well, which means we need to incentivize cardiologists to move to some of these rural areas. Just, is that strictly financial? A lot of the times it is, yeah, yeah because people don't like to live there, their, their family doesn't like to live there, and so they're, they wanna be in high metropolitan cities. So we need to make it lucrative for people to want to live there. We need to make it appealing from a community level for people to want to move their families there. you say there. we have to do that, who's we? Is that the, those communities? Is it it's the, a, the industry? It's the hospital systems. Yeah. It's the hospital systems that control where people go. And if you think about hospitals, their financial business, they put themselves in high metropolitan areas with dense populations. So the whole system has to acknowledge that this is a problem we all need to address. We can't let the dis disparity get out of hand. And if you can't move the cardiologist there, then every hospital in Metro Denver should be mandated to have a cardiology van that does outreach and oh, that goes would be to good. rural areas, does these screenings, provides this care in a mobile fashion. So it takes the doctors, the, the health care to these areas if they can't have people live there. Pretty strong presumption that it's not just cardiology either. So yeah. I'm, we'll have to discuss that another time because I'm sure some of these people uh, live in deserts of other forms when it comes to health care as well. Screenings. Primary care, cancer care, it's across the board that it's been shown. Good to talk about it. Thanks, Dr. Coley. Good to see you. You can find much more with Dr. Coley. Just go to 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.